What is good with the YouTube Vibe fans all over the world? It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir. I said it. Real Talk Boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. This Friday morning. I wanted to I wanted to get back to the incident between T. Woods' mother and um, one of the members of Jake Paul's team. I made a video last night about it, and I was pretty upset about it. Um, I stated a lot of things that I am still 100% backing up. But um, this this actual video is, is based off the comments that I've gotten on that video, which I knew it would rub, you know, some people wrong. Um, because we have diehard fans out there who don't think that their hero, their, their favorite fighter or celebrity can be in any wrong, can do anything wrong. Um, that, that they're, they're always justified in what they do. You know, real talk is, it is what it is. This is what Jake Paul does. This is how he sells fights. He's about that drama. Well, you know, <laughs> uh, we can agree to disagree. Now, um, I was speaking with my man, Kyle, um, Gear Up Survival. That's my dude, man. That's my dude. He's, he's a really helpful guy. He's a supporter. And not only is he a supporter, he is now a friend and a brother. And uh, we were speaking on this incident, man. And we were pretty much in an agreement that, you know, Jake Paul is just a, he's, he's a childish clown, man, and what he did. But uh, he stated his opinion on T. Wood's mother getting into it with one of his members, Jake Paul's members. And he said, man, to be honest with you, um, I think T. Wood kind of, uh, you know, blew it a little bit out of proportion. Um, he, he was a little emotional, uh, especially when he started saying, I, I'll kill this person, that person and all that. It got gangster real fast. And um, he was like, you know, apparently this is what happened. But it's still no excuse for what Tyrone did. I mean, not Tyrone, but um, for what Jake Paul did and what he said and how he instigated the whole thing and how if it was actual major disrespect, then Jake Paul would have still been agging it on the way that he did. And that shows his character. Now, I've stated that I have respect for Jake Paul in some sense because of his grind because his accomplishments in the ring, some people don't think as much, but I am the type of dude who knows the type of courage it takes to step in the ring, whether you are supposed to win or not. Not everybody can do it. Not everybody has the heart to do it, the courage to do it, the want to, to do it. Everybody always says what they're going to do and what they can do, but when it comes down to it, strapping up, they're not going to step through those ropes. So I have that amount of respect for the kid. But then I stated there's a side of him that I do not like and I cannot stand. And he showed that in that press conference. So here's what I want to talk about. After seeing different videos of Whitley's mother going back and forth with the dude. First of all, we don't know who started it. We don't know what started it. All we know is that they were having a heated conversation back and forth with each other. And... I did hear the, the young man say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, ma'am. And then he said something about the third grade. Now, I thought he was insulting his mother um, about her education um, and all the mix up of what was going on. And I can see how Tyrone Woodley was straight up going the defensive. Like, who is this dude talking to my mother, having a heated conversation with my mother? He shouldn't be saying anything to my mother, point blank, period. I can understand that. And there was a comment stating that, oh, okay, real talk, well, you'll flip out if you think somebody disrespecting your mom, so you're the mama's boy. You dang right, man. You right. And not only that, my daughter, my my wife, you know, if I feel like somebody's disrespecting them, I would fly off the handle. But I would I would really like to know what was going on first, because with my wife, she can handle herself. <laughs> you know, she don't she don't she can't fight. To be truly honest with you, she can't. She she's not coordinated. She can't she can't throw hands. But she she will stand up to anybody. I'm telling you, she got a mouthpiece on her. 
but knowing how my mother is about how humble she is and about how she's not about disrespect, you know, if I was to walk up on a situation when I seen, if I seen her in a heated conversation with a dude, you know, then yeah, I would have something to say or maybe something to do. So you're right. I'm a mama's boy. I'm not going to argue with that. Um, but in, in Tyrone, you know, he saw what was going on, wasn't quite sure what was going on, but he didn't care. He didn't care. Now I stated that I didn't, I, there was, there was disappointment on both sides, more so on Jake's side because of, you know, what went down, you know, and I said Tyrone Willie was thrown around the N word like it was just a regular word, but he was upset. He was pissed off and rightfully so he was pissed off. But I think like my man gear up survival said, he, he might've took it a little too far. He got too emotional and when you're dealing with people's mothers, apparently some people, because some people, you know, aren't mama's boys, um, you know, he, he, he probably should have took a step back and actually figured out what was going on first. But all he saw was him and his sister, like, getting into a heated conversation with Jake's team, you know, and it ran him hot. Uh, I don't condone the N-word. I, I don't condone, you know, jumping up, talking about I'll kill, you know, such and such in here, you know, on, 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 on Woodley's part. It was a little too far, but he was emotional. And that's why I was so emotional when I when I actually did the video because it was about, you know, mothers. And we don't play that. And 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 here, here's what I want to revert to now. Um, what I want to touch on now, excuse me. I had some people in the comments saying that man, Jay Paul and his team didn't do anything wrong. And I knew that was coming. And even though I knew it was coming, it, it still baffled me, man. I was still just mind boggled. On how someone could say Jake didn't do anything wrong. Now Jake made a video afterwards saying, "Hey man, everybody was wrong, everybody, including my team." Now unless there's a, been a video released on on him stating what he did to further the altercation, to add fuel to the fire, I haven't seen it. But if there is, let me know. Comment down below. And I'm talking about factual, not you fanboys taking up for the stupidity that he showed. Being in Tyrone Woodley's ear, talking about, yeah, he's talking to your mom. You, 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 what are you going to do about it, you little B? Huh? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do something about it, B? Now, see, when he did that, he reminded me, my daughter, when she was younger, she used to love this Disney cartoon called Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's New Groove. And I fell in love with that cartoon, too. It's pretty funny. In that cartoon, there was a character by the name of Crunk. He was the emperor's bodyguard, so to speak. And Kronk was on the bad side, but he was a good dude. He was on a bad team, but he was a real good dude. He wasn't too bright, though. And when he started having deep thought, there would be an angel that would appear on one shoulder and a devil that would appear on the other. And that devil would try to get Crunk to do the crappiest things. He would be all up in his ear. And that's what Jake Paul reminded me of. That little devil on your shoulder. Yeah, he's talking about your mom. What you gonna do about it? Huh? You little punk? What you gonna do about it? You ain't gonna do nothing. And, and for people to come in down below and say, hey, that's, that's, he didn't do anything wrong. That he's just selling the fight. That's what he does to sell the fight. Well, that tells me the extremes he will go to. To sell a fight. See, I'm about right and wrong, man. I'm about right and wrong. If you right, you right. But if you wrong, you wrong. I don't care what you're trying to do. If you're wrong, to me, that's just not how you go about it. It's not. And I think it's trashy. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a clown way to be. But I understand for Jake, some people, that's y'all boy, man. And, and, and to some extent, he's my boy. But when this, when he does stupid stuff like that, that's when I say this is the part uh, about Jake Paul that I don't like. He's willing to go to the extreme just to sell a fight. Which to me, in my mind, you a sellout. Because if I'm having a fight and I see an opportunity to boost up the drama by doing something that sleazy and that scumbaggish, I'm going to fall back. I'm like, nah, man, I'm not doing that, man. That's not cool. You know, let me find out what's going on. Because obviously his mother is having a heated conversation with one of my team. I still need to find out what's go going on. Excuse me. But he didn't do that. And he didn't relish the opportunity when he when he said everybody was wrong to jump up and say, hey, man, you know what? I, I, I was an instigator. I was that little devil on his shoulder. 
and 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 I possibly riled him up to the point to where he was throwing flowing throwing an N-word and this and that, which I can't really say. You can't control what comes out of another grown person's mouth, but you can state what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, there was wrong on both sides. I agree with Jake when he says everybody was wrong, but you should have touched base on what you did, bro. You should have been specific about what you did, man. Instead of being that little devil on Tyrone Woodley's shoulder, and playing off his emotions, oh man, somebody's talking about his mom, he's going to get pissed, let me throw some fuel on this fire, so he can get even more pissed, so more people can watch the fight, yeah, let's do that, let me sell out like a punk, and, 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 and show all kinds of disrespect, but see, some of his fans don't see that, some of his fans is cool with that, and if you're cool with that, I don't know about you, man, I don't know about you, that's what I'm saying. So after anal analyzing more of the conversation, I can see where people are coming from where, hey, man, it wasn't that much disrespect. They were just having a heated conversation. And I get that. And I'm willing to admit that because I was mad emotional when I made the video. Because like I said, we talking about somebody's mom, man. We talking about somebody's mom. And, you know, some of y'all out there don't, don't see the big deal. But, you know, I do. I get it. I get it. But Tyrone, did you go a little overboard? Yes, after analyzing everything that I've analyzed here lately, more so than before the last video, yeah, I think he probably went a little bit overboard. But then again, like I said, this is my mom, man. Any female, for that matter, in my family, if I was in that in that situation, I, I need to know what's going on. I need to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, again, did you see it? Did you see the rest of the footage? What is your take on it? Now I'm speaking about Jake and what he did, okay? Because in my opinion, it seems like the dude that was on his team having a conversation with Woodley's mother, you know, it 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 was a big deal, but it wasn't at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So I can understand why people say that, yo, man, he really didn't show that much disrespect. Like, what did he really do wrong? I get that. But for Jake's fanboys to say Jake didn't do anything wrong, that's totally crazy to me. It really is. But never mind my opinion of what I'm talking about. I want to know yours. And I'm going live on this fight, y'all. Now, I, I had a guy in the comments say, man, you always going live on the main event. We need we need some more. And and one of the main reasons why I don't really go live into the main event is because I don't think I'm interesting enough to keep you guys for two or three hours. You know what I'm saying? So, But I think there will be a lot to talk about um, when this venue is going on, when this event is going on, because there's going to be a lot of craziness. And so I'm just going to go ahead and go on from the jump. You know what I'm saying? It is going to be Sunday night. My daughter has school the next morning. Me and my wife have work the next morning. My wife will be totally knocked out sleep, probably drooling on her pillow. So it's going to be a little quiet because I don't want to disrespect my women. <laughs> they need to get that sleep. So I'm going to try my best not to be so amped up and be so loud. But off the top, man, if, if we're going to have haters and people coming in talking about show the fight, show the fight, we don't want to see your ugly face, your big nose, this is your trash live stream, then stay on your side, man. I don't want to see you because I'm going to take you off real soon, real soon, because we ain't got time for that. But nevertheless, I want you to comment down below, let your boy real talk know about what you think about this. As always, respect all. Fear none. God bless. The next time, Real Talk Boxing, we up and we out of here, baby. Bye.